Hey ladies, it's Gina. So today I'm doing a tutorial on a look um, that I've become obsessed with recently. I know I haven't been able to do a tutorial in a really long time and I feel really bad. But the look is really pretty. It's this look right here. And I'm pretty much faking a crease but really, really um, blending it in really nicely so that it's not this harsh like outer V for a monolid and I'm using really basic neutral purples uh, the colors that I used were yogurt which is this color um, hoax I know I'm butchering that and sketch and then for my highlight I pretty much use dazzle light and that's it so uh, there's another look that I did with these four colors today when I went to church and it was just a, another like really really pretty really simple look so I want to do I want to um, maybe do another tutorial on a few other looks that you can do with the same colors so I hope you guys like it I know the lighting is really bad I filmed at a really bad time it's like 9:50. And yeah, but I don't have the time, so hopefully maybe next time I can, you know, get in a tutorial during the day. But I hope you like it, and I guess I'll talk to you ladies later. Bye! So I've already primed my eye with Urban Decay Primer Potion. Um, I'm going to go in with Yogurt from MAC. It's just a pale uh, pink purple. Really light. I'm going to apply this all over my eyelid from the base. Up to about the crease if you have a crease but I'm gonna pat that nice and heavy okay next with my 217 brush I'm gonna take hoax which is this really um, just neutral purple brownish light color and it's also another matte um, eyeshadow from Mac I'm going to take this and kind of shadow it along the crease so that it becomes a transitional color for the yogurt. So I'm going to start at the outer corner and work myself in. I'm not taking it in all the way, but I'm taking it in about halfway. I'm going to apply this in big, large circles. Now if you have a crease, you're going to apply this um, right where your crease is and you're going to blend this outwards. Next with my 224 brush, I'm just going to apply more of that hoax and I'm just going to blend it out. Same area but larger strokes. Now with the 217 brush, again, I'm going to go in with Sketch, which is just a really pretty, pretty purple brown with a bit of speckles. Tap the, some of that off and apply this in the outer corner of my eye, starting the outer corner and then just kind of darkening where that crease is. Now if you don't have a crease like me and have a monolid, you're just going to fake that crease. This is where you fake a crease and you're creating the illusion and creating depth in your eye. Um, which is why this is a fun look. Because even though I have a flat eye, I'm going to create some shape. So you start at the outer corner and you start to blend it inwards while pressing into your eye socket lightly following the contour of your eye I'm going to do the same to the other side With my 224 brush, I'm just going to blend some more of that sketch so that it transitions nicely. And 
so it doesn't look as harsh. Now with my Sigma 219 brush, I'm just going to take a little bit of that sketch and line the outer corners of my lower lash line. With my Sigma 252 brush, I'm going to take Dazzle Light, which is a Velux Pearl from MAC. And I'm going to highlight the inner corners of my eye, my tear duct is. And also line the inner corners of my eye with them, or highlight the inner corners of my eye. And then with the same eyeshadow, I'm going to highlight my brow bone. Fill in your eyebrows. I'm using Max Concrete and NYX's brow bone brush. Brow brush. Brush. <laughs> I'm going to line my eyes with Max Fluid Line and Black Track and Sigma's 266 brush. And I'm going to wing that a little bit. Fill in your water lines. Curl my lashes. And I'm going to put on some really, really basic lashes. Lashes. These are like as basic as it can get. Um, they're not too long and they look more natural, but they're cheap. I'm applying Physicians Formula Organic Wear uh, Mascara to my lower lashes. To finish up, I'm just going to finish up my face and apply my uh, Face and Body Foundation in C4 from MAC. Conceal up my red, red, red cheeks right now. I'm so hot right now. My room is like 100 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to do this a little differently. Before I put on my mineralized skin finish, I'm actually going to contour my face, and this is right on top of my foundation. So I'm using Wonder Woman's um, Pink Powder Mineralized Skin Finish. I'm taking that middle contour color. It's a little bronzy. And I'm just going to brush this along the narrow part of my cheekbones, right in the center, going down. Starting from the top of my ear and going diagonally towards my mouth. My mineralized skin finish. I'm 
And then with the same mineralized skin finish, I'm just going to use the top portion of that as my highlight right under my eyes. Right here, just like how Kim Kardashian does it. And it's just going to highlight my eyes and keep that around to a V. And then with the light pinky color, I'm going to apply that to my cheek. Smile. It's just going to give you a little bit of a flirty look. Finish my lips with my MAC Luster in Freckle Tone. Alright, so here's the finished look. I know you guys can't really tell as much, so I'll take some pictures and I'll post them um, at the end of this video. So I hope you guys like this and I'll talk to you ladies later. Bye!